Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm Daniel, just like Tiny Boy with the D. And have you guys noticed anything different about me? No? Well, it's my glasses. It's my glasses. So I got okay. It's okay. It's literally like really slimmer. It's basically exactly the same as my other one. However, like these frames are a bit bigger. Um, the it's like, I would say like a cat eye thing, but it's not really cat eye because it goes like, woo, like sticking out a bit. And this bit is a bit lower because you sh before it was like on top here. And literally it's the same colours, so um, you would probably wouldn't have noticed. So, But the inside is white, so yeah, you're probably like, oh wow, she has new glasses. But yeah, anyways. In today's video, I have some exciting news for you. Oh my god, like guys, honestly, like I have like people like messaging me on instagram about like you know interview advice and just their you know their pathway to become a bms or whatever like honestly it's so it's like so good to hear you guys like honestly i, I really love hearing about your stories and stuff like this girl for example she had an interview on the same day i had no idea until she told me after and I gave her some advice and tips and she watched my video and she got the job so so happy for her i don't even know her name but so happy for her oh, oh my god honestly guys it makes me so happy if you let me know these things like we're having like a proper conversation like we're friends and i was like ah! i don't even know her name obviously because her instagram username i don't think was a name i don't know and then um her name on the the thingy on the profile thingy um i couldn't read it because it was a different language but um yeah guys honestly like share your stories with me honestly comment down below or like message me on instagram i don't care my instagram is daniel lawyer so you can, link is down in the description below follow me dm me whatever i have like people um messaging me saying that a big fan of my videos they like my biomed playlist and i was like whoa there's actually people like my biomed playlist i was like wow i didn't expect this anyways but um Make sure you check out that playlist down in the description below. I'll also put like a little card up here as well. So you guys can click at it and check it out. And anyways, let's go on to the video. Let's go on to the video. So my exciting news is... I'm a flipping trainee by a medical scientist! Oh, oh my god, literally in one year, guys. In what, exactly what... Actually, it was like less than a year because it's like... You know, a year's like 600... No, not 600. <laughs> 365 days last year was a leap year wasn't it let's not count the day of the leap leap year anyways actually a year is 365 days i found out that i got the trainee band 5 job 364 days but you know guys let's just say exactly a year so a year guys honestly from band 2 to a band 5 right now i honestly did not expect this at all especially the fact i you know graduated um, quite late, like after everyone in my course and stuff, all my friends and stuff, they graduated before me, but they graduated in summer, I graduated in winter due to certain reasons, which I'm not gonna say. Anyways, like I thought, I was like, oh no, everyone, like whilst I was doing exams, everyone's like, was like getting jobs, getting their life sorted down. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm just here doing exams. Honestly, like, I was like, my life is not going well, but no, literally go at your own pace. Go at your own pace. Honestly, like me, I went on my own pace. Like, yeah, who cares if I didn't graduate with my friends or everyone in my course, I literally graduated with like no one. I didn't know anyone, just all sad. But anyways, it's, it's all good. It turned out amazingly well. Literally like after my graduation, like, a few days after, like, I, I got a call that I had a band 2 job in micro. And after I started the following month, like, so exciting. Which was January 28th, 2020. Literally a few days. No, no actually, it was, I think it was a day before UCAS came. But anyways, so exciting. I was like, yeah! Because obviously I know this field is really competitive. So I didn't expect to progress this fast. At least like to band 3 or band 4. But I did not expect band 5, honestly. It's just I was kind of lucky in a way. Because yeah, I moved from band 2 micro to band 4 heme in just like 7 months. And literally, um, I just started my job as an AP, so associate practitioner in hematology in September last year. So Oh, let's see how long ago was that. I don't know, like four or five months. October, November, January. I missed December, sorry. October, November, December, January, like four months or so. But um, yeah, so last week I had an interview for the Trainee Band 5 with the same department I'm in, so hematology, but also blood transfusion. And also, yeah, so my interview was last week on the Wednesday, and I was, 
up against like four other people so there's five of us and obviously i was up against two people from him already like the two band fours and the thing is they were working there before me like months and months before me and after that i was just i was just so lucky but maybe not even lucky like i'm just hella smart guys well i just keep saying that's jokes obviously but um, yeah, I'm so happy that I got the job literally like when the manager told me like at the end of the day That exact same day. Um, he was like, oh, sorry. We're no longer hiring you as an AP But training PMS on the Literally, I started crying guys real tears real tears like I literally as soon as he said that I was like, oh my god no, you're joking. I was like that I was like and after was, like, both of them just stared at me like why is this girl crying literally they just stared at me when me waiting for me to finish and didn't even say anything i was like okay and after this he just moved on from the situation and he didn't really say oh no don't worry about that it's okay blah 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 no comforting no nothing but i guess it's just big awkward but um it was a bit awkward because you know, i was like crying and didn't say anything and I'm, uh, they're just like i don't even know they just stare at me like what's she doing but um I, I was so happy i got it honestly guys i did not expect this especially with the fact that i had less experience than both of them and I was new and I, I don't know like I'm young as well but you know people judge on your age as well which is kind of hard because obviously in this field like or even any job people always base it on experience and sometimes age because like obviously the more experience you have the better you are let, let's say the better you are doing the job but that isn't always the case guys honestly it's how much work and effort you put into your job how much you want it and how much you will like revise or study for the interview honestly it's not just about experience it's ju not just about how long you've been there it's not just about age honestly guys like i've had this problem like okay so it hasn't been a long career but let's say my career because honestly people base it on like how mainly on experience and age and that kind of pisses me off a bit and um i'm just really happy that they like interviewers for this job were really fair as in they based it on the interview not just experience and age because honestly i'm such a hard worker guys you don't even know i'm such a hard worker um and i am a fast learner yeah it's but then again like people say oh you're young you remember things more easily than us blah 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 that's not the case if you if you want it you work for it honestly i don't think like i'm so forgetful my and honestly my memory is like a goldfish but if you actually want want the job you want to progress you actually work for it honestly like you work for it you put in the effort you will remember those things if you're interested in it don't just apply to things that you're not interested in yeah, I don't understand like I'm sorry, but I don't understand how people like apply to like for jobs or places And they're not gonna work for it. They're not even putting effort in their job or they're not even like I, I don't understand honestly like it kind of it really pisses me off I'm like okay, like if you get the job It's not fair because other people are working hard for it They're putting the effort and and you just hear like God, sorry I'm having a rant, but it's honestly like really annoying you can totally get me like this is supposed to be a happy video which it is don't worry guys i'm gonna like, convert to the happy place but um i think you like everyone should work for the job they they want everyone should put in the same effort or more effort depending how much you want it but honestly guys like there are people who thought i couldn't make it they they thought i couldn't become a trainee bms or a bms in sh such a short period of time but look at me now like it's been a year i I put in the work, I put in the effort, like, to become, to, like, be in this place right now. You don't even know how much I've gone through. Maybe it's not a lot compared to other people, but I've gone through a lot. And honestly, I'm so grateful that, and so happy that I did move to a different department. You know, I did want to do micro, but then again, I, I do like hematology as well. I did want to do hematology when I was back in college when I did work experience, so I'm kind of glad I stuck with my college dream. But also the fact, like, I did mention before, I didn't really learn a lot about hematology in uni, that's probably why I didn't really, um, let, let's say, know much about it, so I didn't think about it as a career choice. But actually, after starting working hematology, I actually found it quite interesting, especially, like, the things I've learned, like, oh my goodness, wow. But yeah, that's my good news, this video is quite long, sorry about me ranting, but honestly, you guys, like, this is supposed to be a happy video. It, it is. It's just the the ranting. It's just a. It's just a bit annoying. I don't understand people in a way. But honestly, if guys, 
a reminder like quote of the day let's say by yours truly Danya. honestly apply to everything apply to any band obviously with certain requirements like this apply to any band you want to go for it honestly who cares about your age who cares about your age who cares about your experience it's not based on that it's based on how much you work who cares if you've only been there for like two months one month i've only been at like him for like what well, few months and i applied for the band five and i got it people may think like oh why is she applying we should just she just got here who cares if you have no one supporting you dm me honestly message me comment down below i will support you all along the way because so i was in the same situation i was in the same shoes the only people that were like supportive of me were my family obviously some friends colleagues because they thought they they knew i could do it they believed in me and i and i you know I did it for them as well. I, I proved all the haters wrong. I proved everyone who thought I couldn't do it based on my age and experience. I mean, it's so emotional. But I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry. Yeah, but who, who cares what people think? It's not their life, it's your life. If you need any help, like DM me, message me, comment down below. I will 100% support you. But yeah, guys, so that's for today's video. I just wanted you guys to know about my progression throughout my career. Like, I'm so happy bringing you guys along here. And I'll uh, update about my portfolio. So I had my 20 week probation review last week. And my just said that it's not, obviously, my probation's not finished. It's six months. I have to have to fix stuff about their license, so... They can't order it yet, but they probably will because that's a ba I'm band five now, so they kind of have to. And um, obviously, I won't start band five stuff and training because they have to find my replacement. So just waiting for that, and then they'll probably take like a few months, and then I can officially like start my training. But then obviously, I'll probably still have to do AP tasks because we're already understaffed, and and we'll see how it goes. I'll keep you updated along along the way, and when I do my portfolio as well. So guys, check out um, my other videos. I'll put the links in the description below. I'll put it at the end of the video as well to the playlist. Um, check it out my other biomed videos, and um, do message me, guys. Honestly, like I love hearing from you guys. Um, so message me on my Instagram or comment down below, and I will reply to you guys. Like honestly, I will reply. Thanks, guys, for watching my video, and thank you for joining me along my journey to become a BMS like it's only just the beginning for those who have been here since I was banned too thank you so much and supporting me along the way honestly you guys are so amazing you're so great and I really appreciate you guys watching my videos and saying that my tips and advice really help and oh, it's just so nice to hear because I honestly thought they were amazing so <laughs> like but you guys say this otherwise and thank you so much for your support and everything so um if you want more videos like this um comment down below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel down there thanks guys for watching bye